Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and this is my non-spoiler review for ISS. Tensions flare in the near future abroad the ISS, the International Space Station, when a worldwide conflict breaks out on Earth. Soon, the US and Russian astronauts each receive orders from the ground. Take control of the station by any means necessary. I remember seeing the trailer for this movie. It's got Ariana DeBose in it, and I have really, really enjoyed her work. Chris Messina, a ton of great actors, really, in the cast. Now, the trailer made things really, really interesting. We've got three astronauts, well, six astronauts in total. We have three from the US and three from Russia, with Ariana DeBose's character being the newest addition to the crew. And right away, you can tell that all the astronauts that have been essentially living on the ISS together have built some sort of a rapport despite the language barrier. So I almost feel like as an audience member, we are seeing it through the lens of Ariana's character because we are sort of new, arriving new to the situation as well. Everything starts pretty normal. She's getting her feel of being up in space, getting used to living and sleeping on the ISS and getting familiar with the crew. And obviously, if you've seen the trailer, you already know that as they're looking out from the ISS onto Earth, they notice that something terrible has happened uh, down on Earth while they're in space. A war has broken out and they can see the explosions. Situation looks dire. But before we get to that point, the movie actually does a really good job of building a little bit of tension using the language barrier as one of the factors of kind of building, not tension, but a little bit of like, I guess, mistrust between the astronauts. And with Kira being the newcomer, she really is unfamiliar with everybody. There is a really cool scene where she um, is putting, the, so she brought some mice up into space um, as a part of her study, as a part of her project. And she is working next to a Russian astronaut, Alexei. And in that scene, they sort of built a, not that he disapproves of what she's doing, but he was kind of, you know, a little bit of like, this is my space, this is your space. Oh, we've brought mice up here before. Um, you know, it didn't really work out well. And it, it almost kind of felt there was something a little bit more sinister at play. Like, is he gonna mess with the mice? Uh, and I'll let you watch the movie to find out what happens with them. But I think it was a nice touch to kind of put that ahead of what they see on Earth when war broke out. Inevitably, that scene happens as they look out onto the Earth, they notice something terrible has happened and the US gets a message and they're like, you know, this is what's happening, a war is breaking out. You, as the US astronaut team and the leader, which they were talking to Chris Messina's character, must take control of the ISS by any means necessary. And at this point, the three, the six astronauts were, were split, you know, it was three on one side, three on the other. And they have this shot where they kind of look down the tunnel slash hallway uh, and they look at each other and they're thinking, we well, you know what everybody's thinking. If we got this order, they probably did too but are they gonna act on it? Are we gonna act on it? And then for the rest of the movie, it's this, you're just watching how everything turns out, how each astronaut is reacting to this, who is going to follow through, who is saying, well, our friendship matters more, what they do down there, like, we can't do this. We've been living together, for, you know, on the ISS for a really long time. We have built this trust. So I was really excited to see where that was gonna go. And if you've seen the trailer, you know that there are also some exterior shots of one of the astronauts going outside to do repairs on the ISS. Uh, and that part, I was actually hoping we would see a little bit more of that. It was giving me feelings of um, like, gravity with Sandra Bullock just because you're in space and if you're not careful and you're not tethered in and you let go it's kind of game over for you. I really thought the movie did a good job of building up all the tension, the mystery, kind of putting the audience in the in that situation where you're thinking I don't know do I trust them and an interesting ha thing happened in our screening was that a lot of the subtitles uh, for the scenes with the Russian astronauts when they were speaking only Russian, only the subtitle only showed up partially. And at first I thought that was on purpose. And I was like, oh, that's an interesting creative way of making the audience really feel like, well, I can't really understand what they're saying, unless you speak Russian, unless you're fluent in Russian, you wouldn't understand what they're saying. And it's further building that mistrust and tension. But later, the studio did send an additional screener uh, and that problem was corrected. So essentially, all the missing subtitles showed up in the screeners when I rewatched the movie. I feel like as the movie went on, 
The first act was really good, the second act and the pacing was fine, but despite the strong first and second act, I felt like by the end we got to sort of the final chapter of the film. I understood what they were doing there and I understand the ending, but it felt so abrupt and kind of anticlimactic given everything we just watched. And I felt a bit of let down. I was actually really looking forward to the film. And again, acting was fine. I like a lot of the actors that are cast in this film. The cinematography, I felt like what, especially with the scenes that were outside of the ISS, I thought looked really cool, but it was a really brief scene. It really, we weren't outside for that long. Another cool thing to see is that 99% of the time they were, you know, floating around because they're in zero gravity. So that was really cool that the film continued to do that and they weren't like seated and stable because they're in space and that really wouldn't be realistic. So overall, I like the concept. Performances, I'm happy with. Cinematography was fine, but the ending left much to be desired. So my rating for ISS is Stream It. And there you have it. That is my thoughts on the film. Let me know your thoughts on the movie. You've seen it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.